The Wine and She Show is a Metaverse and NFT discussion interview series brought to you by Metaverse Ventures Entertainment and host Ben 68 and More Cheats. Warning, the information and opinions within are solely the views of the individuals involved contains content not suitable for anyone. One is a wanker, one's like it's Thomas, one's from Australia, one's from the Bronx. Snack size. Alrighty, this next article, NTV opens a metaverse experience to promote the Video Music Awards. So this is another one where some mm. real life stuff is getting involved in the space. So I thought this was really cool. I used to devour MTV back in the day and all the Beavis and Butthead and all the rest of it. Roblox Destination, that's really cool. Yeah. Now, who? it was Samsung we were talking about. Samsung was also... A couple of episodes ago, Samsung was branching out and getting involved in Roblox. So Roblox seems to be making a bit of a under well, it's not really underground, but they're definitely working away and getting heavily involved in the space. Internet res- resurrected the radio star. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well You're done. You're way too young for that reference. No, no. Old souls. Metaverse has a bunch of old souls and I love it. Uh, well yeah. done so yeah the, the video music awards experience will run inside roblox from august the 12th to september the 3rd and include games and rewards for users now that's always going to be the key like we just mentioned like the rewards for users that's what's really going to get people in so mm-hmm. yeah they're opening up a virtual experience on roblox corpse gaming platform the temporary installation is a companion to a new category that MTV has added to the awards show this year to recognize the best musical performance in the metaverse. Wow. Oh, would that cool. be um would that be Travis Scott in the in Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Yeah, like there's Justin Bieber, there's a whole bunch of people that have that have done it. It has been clunky, it has been, you know, that's been bug ridden and that sort of thing but it's it's in the very early stages so if mtv's i hope it's somebody that is uh new and not like a famous oh like like we like the metaverse brings up its own music industry yeah yeah Yeah, we're gonna get like the nasty hooks in there or something yeah they they do our our our, uh our show uh opening song school and okay. you mentioned travis scott there you go look travis um artists <laughs> such as charlie xcx bts travis scott have stage concerts on virtual platforms such as fortnite minecraft and roblox mm-hmm. that's cool that's cool um just a disclaimer i don't play fortnite there's nothing <laughs> wrong with <Okay>. fortnite <laughs> <laughs> I am a big video gamer. Uh, I I I'm didn't a PUBG get into Fortnite, fan. but I got into Overwatch. Do you play Overwatch? No, I um if I'm going to play like a shooter like that, it's probably going to be PUBG. All right. Or or if I'm on my Xbox, I'm playing Minecraft or Forza. So <laughs> Maybe I Assassin's have Forza. Creed. Yeah, I have Forza. Hey, you like Minecraft? What about 7 Days to Die? Seven, um I don't, I don't know if I remember that game very well. I know I've I'll heard of it or I've seen it. But... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't want that. Uh, the, ch- the chief marketing officer of Paramount Media Networks and MTV Entertainment Studios has said one of the most exciting things about it is that it brings the VMA experience to people wherever they are in the world. Um, so the VMA experience will include three games, starting with one on August the twelfth and adding a new one each Friday until the award show on August 28th. Players can stock up on chances to vote for the best Metaverse performance by collecting MTV logo tokens throughout the experience and by playing games. So the community is going to vote. That's cool. Mm. MTV's VMA experience was created with Super League Gaming Incorporated, a game publisher that has previously designed games for MTV and other Paramount properties. Mm -hmm. There you go. This is for that slightly older Roblox gamer who started starting to identify heavily with music and is really about to enter that entry point of becoming an MTV viewer. So that's probably like your tweens and your that teenagers. Like, that sounds like an extremely tight niche. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, maybe, maybe that's their target niche for their actual MTV stats. 
I don't know. But maybe I, know. I don't know. It just I don't know. The the order that they put that in see is like mm. first you have to play Roblox and then you <laughs> have to start getting in, in interested in music. And at that point then we want you to start to look at MTV. And I, was, I don't know. <laughs> you know what, though? There is something there because uh, my two youngest children both play Roblox and um, my middle child, uh, Keanu, he, he plays Roblox. And he started, like, when we're sitting down for dinner, he'll say, um, hey, Google, can you play? And he'll say some bloody Roblox song or something. So there is something to it where he started playing the game and then he's got drawn into the soundtrack and he's looking mm. to expand in what's happening, happening musical wise. So okay. something there. No, I see. Mm, I'm not exactly sure what, but there's definitely something there. So no, that's cool. Super League and MTV will promote the Roblox experience using social media influencers, <coughs> sharing <coughs> gameplay and other Roblox games via virtual billboards that they can transport the user to the VMA experience. MTV's push into the metaverse with an award show category and Roblox experience will encourage the music industry to create more virtual experiences, some metaverse specialists say. Yeah, that's that's what I'm most excited about. I'm not I'm not super excited about what this means for now, but what it means for, you know, moving forward. Um, the fact that music is going fluidly into this space now means that culture will follow closely behind it. Yeah. I mean you know, previously, if you wanted to be on MTV, well, you would have to have a record deal. You would have to have, you know, mass marketing behind you. But now with the YouTube generation and that sort of thing, um, anybody sitting on their couch, couch with a guitar or a microphone or whatever, and if they build a community, they could end up winning a bloody MTV award. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. You can that take is- up singing lessons, cheese. Belt out a few tunes. Hmm. I take that as a no. Right, 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 right